In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can clean your Mac in two different ways for free. I'm Louise Elizabeth and welcome to Every Bit Helps. I really hope you enjoyed this video today and if you do then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also please do head over to my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk where a related blog post is also available. If your Mac has started to slow down recently or if you're running out of space, I'll show you how you can easily clean up your Mac. This will include some techniques using features available and inbuilt into your Mac and some that are automated using some third-party software which will help you to run your computer more efficiently, removing any unnecessary files that may be clogging up and slowing down your machine. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is find out how much space we actually have available on our Mac. And the way that we do that is if we click onto the Apple icon in the top left-hand side of our screen, then if we go to About This Mac, now one thing to be aware of is that I'm currently on Mac OS Catalina, so if for any reason your screen does appear slightly differently, it may be that you're in a different version than I am. However, you still will be able to go to Storage tab at the top here. Now if you see that there's less than about 20% available, then you may find that your apps are crashing, or the circular dial is spinning around a fair bit that appears up on your screen. Now if we take a look at these different files in a little bit more depth, what we need to do is click on to Manage. Now first up, it will give us some recommendations. So as you can see on screen, the first thing it's doing is it's telling us to store some files in our iCloud. So store all files, photos and messages in iCloud to help you to save some space. Then it's telling us to optimize our storage. So save a bit of space by removing Apple TV films and TV programs you've already watched and keeping only recent email attachments on this Mac when storage space is needed. And you can see once you've completed these, you will get a green little tick here. You can automatically empty your bin and you can switch that on. So removing anything that is older than about 30 days. And you can also reduce clutter so we can sort through different types of documents on the Mac and delete what we no longer need. Now I'm gonna be taking you through that in a moment, but what we're gonna do is head over to the left-hand side here and take a look at applications. So first up under applications, you can see all the applications that you currently have on your Mac. And if there's any that you're no longer using, you can obviously delete these applications out of here. So you can take a look, for example, with Opera, I can see that I haven't used that since 2017, so I may wanna remove that application. So I would then just click on to delete in the bottom left-hand corner here. Now, if we take a look at documents on the left-hand side, and in here, you'll see that you've got four tabs. So you have large files, downloads, unsupported apps, and file browser. Now, with regards to your large documents, this is a pretty good way that you can go through, find any kind of really large documents in here, and delete them out and save yourself some space. So you can actually sort by the different types of sizes in here, and you could obviously take a look at when you last accessed those documents as well. Now, if there are any in here that you no longer require, you can delete these out. Now, one thing to mention is that when these are deleted, they don't go into the trash. They will be deleted immediately, so just be aware before you actually hit that delete button. Then just taking a look at downloads. So in here, it's worth having a look for any kind of installation files. Now, these are used to install software from the web, which once they're used, you no longer require them. So it's worth going through and sorting by the different types and kinds of files so you can delete out anything that you no longer need. Next up, we have iCloud. So in iCloud, it will tell you how much iCloud is currently using in terms of storage, and you can open up your Apple app and preferences. Under Mail, again, it will show you how much you're actually using in terms of storage. And then we'll just take a look at music. Now, I personally don't have any music on this Mac, but you may have some old podcasts in here or music that you no longer need and can remove. You can also open up your photos from here as well. Now, some people are worried when they're deleting out files that they no longer want and having to actually remove photos from their Mac. Now, one thing worth doing is putting it up into iCloud and that way you don't have to feel so scared when you are deleting things from your Mac. Now, before we move across to third-party software, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you one other thing just to double check, just to see if this may be slowing down your machine. And that's something called File Vault. And the way that we can access that is if we click onto our Apple icon in the top left-hand corner again. And if we go down to System Preferences, now if we head over to Security and Privacy and click onto File Vault. Now, if this is currently on, it means that it's essentially encrypting your data to make it more secure. And you may not necessarily need this switched on. 
So if you do want to switch this off, you can obviously click the lock to make changes. So I'm going to click onto the lock. It may then ask you to authenticate and enter in a username and password. Then you can simply switch off File Vault if you don't feel that you need it. Also, another thing worth checking to see is if your device has any malware on it. Now, this is slightly out of scope for this tutorial, but what I'll do is I'll show you how you can do that in another video. Now, if you don't feel like spending your time cleaning your Mac manually, you can use a really great third party tool called Clean My Mac X to find and remove the clutter from your Mac. So Clean My Mac X is uh, makes your Mac as good as new as it states here. So as again, as it states, it's an all-in-one package to awesomeize your Mac. It cleans megatons of junk and makes your computer run faster, just like it did on day one. So it knows which files aren't needed, how to find them and remove them completely. It will even clean up junk that you didn't know about and give your computer a speed boost. Now, Clean My Mac is a paid license or a subscription, but they do have a free trial. So if you wanted to try it first, I'll pop a link into the description below, but just to give you an idea in terms of that free trial. Now, as you can see, there's quite a lot that you do get for free, but there are more options available for paid licenses, and it's a pretty reasonable cost too. So you will have restrictions on things like the amount of junk that you can actually remove. In terms of the malware removal, the removal operation isn't available. And also in terms of your different types of tasks, you can only run them once. And, and there's different types of limitations in here. But what we'll do is I've downloaded the free version at the moment so you can take a look at that. So what we'll do is open that up now. So as you can see, it's a pretty nice interface. And the first thing we come up with is our smart scan. Now, smart scan is really the starting point, depending on whether you're on a free trial or a subscription. It combines seven modules, which include system junk, photo junk, mail attachments, iTunes junk, trash bins, malware removal, and maintenance. The smart scan may take some time. Once you've finished, it will show you the total amount of data that can be safely removed, as well as threats and optimized tasks. Now, all of those modules in the smart scan are pretty much what's covered from the modules below. So we're going to actually have a look at those individually so that you can get an idea of what's covered within that smart scan. So first up, we have our system junk. Now in here, you can do a quick scan to see if you have any kind of temporary files that will free up some space. And it'll also get rid of some various broken items that may result in the wrong application behavior. And you could do a simple scan down here, but as I said, we're going to be doing a smart scan, which will include this system junk. We then have mail attachments. So in here, you can see any old attachments and email downloads that may still be on your computer. And these types of files can take up a lot of space on your Mac, and it helps you to declutter things from your machine. Trash bins is pretty much what it says on the label. It will empty all your trash bins on your Mac, including your mail and photo library trash as well. We then have our malware removal. So in here, it will perform an in-depth checkup of your Mac for all different types of vulnerabilities, and it will remove any malicious files that you have. Like I said, this is part of the paid license version though. Privacy, so this will remove all your browsing and download history, and it also gets rid of things like chat data, like Skype or iMessages in here. Now, next up, we have our optimization. So this will go through and find apps that are slowing you down and it will restart them. And it also takes your login items and runs them more efficiently. Under our maintenance tab, this will help to improve your hard drive performance and it'll also free up some RAM. Another big thing that it does is it improves your search performance. So it re-indexes your Spotlight database to improve both search speed and quality. So this is quite a big one in here as well. And you can view all the different types of tasks in here as well. So as I said, you can help to free up some RAM, you can run maintenance scripts, and it just shows you this in a little bit more depth. Then we have our uninstaller. Now this is a pretty handy tool as you can actually choose an application that you'd like to remove and it'll remove all traces of that. So you won't have to move certain things to the trash bin and make sure that all the sort of backend files are removed as well. It'll do it all in one simple step. Next up is the updater. So this is really good for helping you to understand what updates that you may have in terms of your different applications. This is really good because sometimes if you're using older different types of apps, it can slow down your machine. So this will help you to be more efficient or your computer to be more efficient too. You can remove any extensions that you no longer need and it will also remove extensions completely, but it will disable them temporarily if you need them. So next up we have space lens. So in here, we can get an idea of which files and folders are actually using up the most amount of space. 
Next up, you have your large and old files. Now, in relation to the large files, obviously this is very similar to the manual process that you did earlier. However, you may well find that Clean My Mac X actually does find additional files than what we were looking at earlier in terms of our managing our documents. Then the last one on the list is our shredder. So shredder is a more secure process of actually deleting your files. Now what I'll do now is just take us through the smart scan just to show you that are going through and I'm gonna click on to scan. And as I said, if you haven't actually run a scan before, it may take some time to do so. So please bear with me. So the first thing it does, it shows me my cleanup. So it remove unneeded junk and there's 8.45 gig. It then shows me the amount of potential threats that I have. Now just be aware in terms of that protection, that is under the paid subscription. So if you wanna move across from that free trial, again, I'll put a link in the summary below. And it shows me how I can run three different tasks to actually increase my speed performance. What I do first of all is go to review details under cleanup. So in here, I can choose whether or not I want to run these different cleanups. So I can either choose to select or deselect these different types of options. Next up, I can have a look at the information in terms of my protection. And it's telling me that there are five adware threats. So what I need to do is I need to remove these to avoid seeing commercial annoyances on my system. So I can go through and take a look at those and I can choose to delete those so I can keep that checked. Then just in terms of my speed, if I click onto that, it'll tell me my recommended optimization task based on my max condition. It states that I need to run maintenance scripts, flush DNS cache and free up some RAM. And then once you're ready to actually clean up, what you can do is click onto run. Now, if you do go over that 500 meg of junk, then obviously you will be prompted to activate to complete your cleanup and purchase a license to clean up more. So that was just a couple of ways that you can clean up your Mac. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do also head over to my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.